Yo, what's up friends? What up fam? What up YouTube? What's going on? I'm over here in Nantucket Island. Garbage man. First year as a garbage man ever. Um, yeah, it's it's going it's going well. It's going well. I have uh, free housing. I get a pretty good wage per hour. Um, but I just wanted to comment on that. It's not really how much you get paid per hour. It's how many, how much money you make, <laughs> how much money you bring home, how much. Because you can work fucking fifty dollars an hour, but only get an hour a day. Uh, you're only getting fifty bucks, fifty bucks a day, which is like three hundred bucks a week. Which is cool, you know, you'll work a lot less hours than somebody that's working a lot more hours for the same amount of money, but if you're all about the money, then that's just going to get played out because you're only making $300 a week. So, um, yeah, to be honest, it's been a little bit less money than I expected, but um, yeah, it's, it's just a consistent thing right now, me showing up for work consistently. I'm showing, I'm uh, saving up for a new truck, so I gotta get that done before I go anywhere else. Uh, but yeah, being a garbage man sucks. <laughs> Let's be honest, man. Being a garbage man absolutely sucks. Unless you like uh, being a garbage man and um, you know rolling around in trash and whatnot. Oh, let me let me specify that though, because the way we do garbage on this island on Nantucket Island is fucking super old school so I I came in here to run the Packer which is the the garbage truck that picks up all the dumpsters and whatnot and that that's cool that that's easy you just go around picking up dumpsters that ain't really no dirty work you know what I mean you just go from business to business picking up dumpsters the smell you know what I mean you still got you still got to put up with the smell but other than that, you don't really get too dirty, you know, like, you just hook up the dumpster, you wheel the dumpster over, hook it up, and then pull the lever, and then dump it, and then pull it back, and then wheel it back to where it's supposed to be. But when you're doing the household here, that's a whole different other story when you're not doing these uh, dumpster runs, because around here, they don't put their trash on the side of the road, and you don't come up with like a claw and grab it and whatnot. Um, so around here you get a whole list of what you got to do for household. And then you got to go ride around onto the people's property. You got to drive in their driveway. Most of the times you're driving in their driveway. Because then you got to go find their specific bins. Some of them are in their garage. Some of them are on the side of the house. They don't bring them to the edge of the driveway. Which doesn't make any sense to me because I wouldn't want people just, I wouldn't want garbage men just searching around my yard for my trash, but that's how they do it in Nantucket. They uh, make you go find the fucking, the trash bins and then you gotta physically grab all their bags, all their shit, and then bring them to your truck. That's the shitty part of the job. Um, but with that, you do get a little bit more hours. And then it is cool because you are on the property. You are getting to mingle with the customers every now and then saying what up versus uh, the dumpsters. You know, uh, you, you get relationships with the people who own the businesses and whatnot, which is cool too. But uh, I guess to each is his own. And like my roommate, he likes doing the household stuff better. I don't know why, but he's like, oh yeah, I love it love that shit <laughs> I'm like you're out of your mind bro like in the uh, going people's garbage and roll around in it it doesn't make any sense to me but yeah being a garbage man sucks it is what it is it's a shitty job it smells so bad but you know you just do it like me I'm just doing it temporarily I mean if this is your thing this is your thing but this is certainly not my long term thing that's for sure um, but who knows, you know, you might come up on somebody's trash that they're giving away a bicycle or a scooter or, fuck, maybe a car, you know? These people give away a lot of stuff. So it's decent, man, it's decent. I'm getting, uh, to work right now. My roommate at home, um, he's real cool. He's been letting me hold his van because I didn't bring my car over here because my car, it would make it over here, 
you know, it, no problem. It's just three hundred dollars to bring your car in the ferry over here. Plus, my car needs a lot of work done, so I didn't want to really bring it over here and risk all that. So I figured I'd just sell it on the mainland and um, save up for me to get a little pickup truck to my lugging around that shit no more you know what I mean so I can get that done and I'll be a happy man getting that pickup truck there's a couple people that do live on Nantucket that's kind of cool um, pretty sure I rode past Bill Burr's house yesterday when I was doing a household I think he has a house here I heard he did and then I saw a mailbox that said Burr B-U-R-R -R. so I was like there's no way there's nobody else's I mean maybe there is but uh, Bill, uh, Bill Belichick's got a house here. My roommate does his uh, yard or whatever, picks up his trash. So he mingles with him, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, man, I just want to give y'all a little update. The money isn't exactly what I expected it. I'm making a little bit less than $1,000 per week right now, which is decent, you know, like it's, it's okay. It's all right. Um, I've been able to save some money though because I've been hitting up the food pantry and they've been helping me out every week they bring me some food and they bring me some nice ass food so if you need some help somewhere don't be ashamed reach out to that food pantry they'll be happy to do it and I'm going to be happy to give back to help volunteer in the future um, maybe on Sundays or something coming up I'm going to get in contact with them about that and also I've been getting some food stamps so I haven't really spent too much money on food this month, thank God, because uh, I do spend a lot of money on food. Y'all know I like to eat healthy. But yeah, man, there ain't no gym here, so I've been trying to get my workouts in every morning before work, which has been a challenge as well, because I have a roommate right next to me, and he doesn't, you know what I mean, who the fuck gets up at 3 o'clock unless you're working out like me. Um, so I gotta be relatively quiet while I work out, which, fuck that shit. <laughs> I like being loud when I work out. But, uh, they are opening a gym here on the 29th in this month. Uh, fuck it, that shit drives me nuts, man. I wanna go to the gym so bad. Shit makes me feel good when I go to the gym. But, um, yeah, they're opening it up on the 29th, and I'm gonna be hitting that up. I will be hitting that up. It's fucking, I think $150 a month or $100 a month for a gym membership. So I say I'm gonna be hitting it up, but who knows, man, that's a lot of money. A lot of money, but then I figure I haven't paid for a gym membership in a couple months, so it all equals out, right? God is good, karmic debt is real. We're gonna get this shit regardless. Pulling up to work now. It's another good thing about here. It's only like a literally a 10 minute commute to work. I can walk here within an hour. I was riding my bicycle until it fucking broke on me or whatever. Or the truth of it got revealed. But yeah, man. One of the other garbage men is rolling up now in his Mercedes. So that's a good sign. All right, y'all. Out.